Hello, and welcome to another fun and exciting, adventurous episode of Tech Pop Boom with your hosts, Scott and Brandon. I'm Scott. And I'm Brandon. Uh, I'd like to start the show just by reminding everybody to please check out our website at Tech Pop Boom. That's T E C H P O P B O O M dot com. Besides our website, you can check us out on Facebook, Google Plus, and YouTube. Just type in Tech Pop Boom while you're at the YouTube site. Please hit the subscribe button. And besides all that, we are officially, it's true, we're officially on iTunes. So please, if you're an iTunes fan or an Apple fanboy like Brandon, no. go to <laughs> go to Apple and hit the subscribe button. And every time we record an episode, it'll just automatically appear in your podcast app. Uh, today's show is uh, we're going to talk about a few Netflix shows. It won't be a show 100 percent about Netflix, but we're going to you know kind of dab and dab around just a little bit and, and talk a little bit about it. Brandon's got a few stories he wants to talk about, and then while he talks about that, I'll tell him what I really think about it. And uh, besides that, I have a few other things uh, I wanted to talk about and recommend. So instead of talking about what we're going to talk about, let's talk about it. Brandon, go ahead. Okay. Hello, everyone. Ah, oh, I got my tech news. But first, I like to start out about iTunes. Um, you know, we've been on it for a week, and or mm-hmm. about two weeks, I think. No, more than two weeks, right? And, you know, I thought that, yeah. you know, I would thought of the whole fans and I thought I would get, you know, like invited to parties and, you know, stuff like that. But uh, or inciting girls boobs, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> but oh, you, you, mean, know, you mean you haven't been doing that? No, that's what I've been. I, I, you know, what? hey, have you been taking all the fun? Because, you know, I, I, I'm just like, ah, oh. you know, I'm very happy that we're on iTunes. I think that. <sighs> We've gotten a little bit more subscribers. I see a lot of people listen to it and download it more because I I get all the stats and everything. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, and awesome. I, that's I, good and to hear. you know that was a good idea, Scott. So the, you, you got your wish. I think that was. I think I don't know why I didn't do it earlier. That's that's just the thing. But uh, yeah, well, good good things come to those who wait. Yeah. So I thought you know, but oh well, that hasn't happened yet. But maybe since I'm you know uh, we get. Uh, more listeners more out there we can you know do the itunes you know more more people listen to it you know maybe we'll get more subscribers and maybe people say ah, i know you're from tech pop boom you can have that pizza for free <laughs> <laughs> oh boy free pizza yes i know That's i can't wait for that make. that would be yeah. the highlight of the doing this show <laughs> no actually the editing part's the best part no, you you had mentioned pizza, and I know you. I am a big pizza guy, but I know you're a big pizza guy. I'm yeah. just wondering whether you had pizza today. No, but I was thinking about getting some after our show. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Okay. I just didn't want to order it now, and then having to wait, and then you know having to delay us doing this. So I said, well, oh, you know yeah. what? I'll wait. Now I'll get it after, you know, rather than before. Well, so yes, I, I was I thinking about nothing- it. There's nothing worse than having hot food in front of you. You can't touch it because, you know, you're busy doing something else. So, oh. yeah, it's probably best to do this first and then get it. Yeah, then get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, Android M is coming out. And there was this great article about how people weren't very excited about an Android M. And this article kind of said, you know, the reasons why. is It's because of the whole Apple world thing of where everyone gets their updates at the same time on the same day uh, all the refresh my, refresh my refresh my memory what in the hell is android m the new operating system for android because see they go by uh they go by suites the letter yeah the letter right but i i, I thought they just came out with whatever it was the hell they, they just came out with yeah 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 they just did uh you mean lollipop android l so um, right. So now they're talking about another one. I mean, yeah. it's only been like a month. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. See, okay. That's exactly what this article was saying. Was oh. that? Oh, exactly, exactly. Okay. See, what what's happening is why a lot of people aren't excited about it is because in the Apple world, everyone gets their updates at the same time. Okay. Yeah. And no matter yeah. what network, no matter where you are, you all get it, whatever version it is. Where Android, some people just got Lollipop. It takes almost a year. To, for people to actually get the newest uh, uh, operating system. And right, then it depends, right. and some phones won't even get it at all. And I, I got to thinking about this, and I was like, 
You know what? This person makes sense because it, it takes okay for for I know I, I got an HTC one and they have the ninety day commitment. Okay, within ninety days that I get the code, I get the new operating system. Okay, and they usually mm -hmm. they're fairly good about that. You know, okay, ninety days. But like Samsung does what the hell they want to do. You know, they can put it out. I don't know next week, next year, next whatever. You know, it doesn't matter. And, and so you're saying the the, the 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 new Samsung phone or whatever? What's the new the, the Edge? Isn't that what it's called? The new Samsung phone. Oh, you mean phone, oh, oh, you mean the Galaxy Six S? Yeah, yeah. About does that, that, that have? Yeah. Does that have the lollipop? Is that available? Yeah, yeah, on yeah. That, that, that one's lollipop. Yes, yes, but not okay. uh, the okay. The six has it. The five, five, but it depends on what you care. Oh no, all of them have it now because Verizon was, I think, was the last one to get lollipop on it. But when you go to when you go to the four, uh, you know, the three, the two, the one, they don't but, have you know, lollipop. A but Apple does the exact same thing, though. Apple's guilty of that too. When they release a new operating system, typically it's it's the newer phones that get it. The older ones, I mean, you may go back one generation, but no more than that. Uh, although there has been rumors about. Uh, the latest one, which I believe is iOS 9, uh, there is talk about them possibly uh, some of the older phones, I don't know, will be able to get iOS 9 or something like that, which typically never happens. It's usually, like I say, the latest and maybe the previous generation, but that's typically it. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's, I think that's pretty typical. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm hoping that Apple does support the 5S because then my mom's out of the water with her new operating system. So it's been like, oh, no, now I'm going to then I would really have to get her a new phone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that it, why, why it wouldn't. I mean, it's only one generation behind the 5S. That's still pretty Oh, no, cool. it's a 4S. Oh, it's, oh that yeah, is made yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no I, a... I take that back because like I said, there's talk about them yeah, uh, that it might be available on older phones. So it, I think it might. I think she might be lucky. Okay, okay, okay. I'm hoping so. Android M, and, uh, anyone who knows, because we don't know in the Android world, we never know what suite they're going to put. That's why they put an uh, M, because we know it's going to be, it might be M&M. &M, well, well, actually, Mars has to sign off on it, because they own, or Milky Way, because Mars has to sign off it. You know, the candy company, Mars. Um, but they were thinking about Marshmallow, um, what what other sweets to start with? M M and M's. Yes. M and M's. <laughs> I know. I was thinking M and M's too, but okay. L let me um let me show. Let me tell you what's in Android Mars. M. So, <laughs> Mars. I'm, gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep. I'm, I'm gonna keep throwing out uh, sweets. Yeah, the keep, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Rest of the sweets. Yeah, for that start with M. Because <laughs> I was really for Android L. I was hoping for licorice. I was really, really going for licorice. I said, oh, please let me licorice. But no, it became lollipop, which, okay, I, I, I don't mind that. I mean, I was like, okay, but I was like, dang it. So now I'm hoping for, I don't know, um, marshmallow, maybe. Maybe marshmallow. Marshmallow sounds good. It sounds all sweet and soft and stuff, just like Android M. Um, so what's on Android M? Mm. Okay. So this is um, M. 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 Yes. Okay. So this one has the Google Now gets smarter with with the tap. So now, if everybody in the Android world um, who has Android milkshake. phone knows, milkshake. That's it. That was it. That was it. Milkshake. That was it. Uh, okay, that was the one Mac I was thinking about. Here, here we go. Here we go. Macaroon. Macaroon. Mar okay. A mer meringue. Milkshake. Milkshake. Molasses. Molasses. Moose. Moose. Or muffin. Muffin. Muffin's not sweet. Well, yeah, maybe. Well, well, it depends on which muffin you just, have. And these are just coming in, coming in off the top of my head because I'm not looking these up on Google by any means. Oh, you're not? Oh, that's pretty good. No, no. <laughs> that, that's, that, that's off the top of my head, of course. Well, you know your food, then. <laughs> well, that's, that's why I, 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 I yeah. Insert, insert fat joke here. Yeah, fat, yes. But I didn't say that. You said that. Uh, um, Milky Way. Milky Way. Milky Way. Yes, that was another one. Um, no, they had a whole anyway. bunch. They had a whole bunch of them on this website. And yeah, it was milkshake. Now, I i mean, marshmallow sounds good, but I think milkshake would, please, I think milkshake should be the one uh, that should go no, with M. I bet you it'll, it'll be marshmallow. It'll, it'll probably be, be marshmallow. It'll probably be marshmallow. Yeah, because everybody knows marshmallow. Well, on uh, back to the Google Now. 
Google Now has like cards in the Android world. I, and oh, also in iOS too, they have it. But they have like cards where you could go and you swipe over to the side or you swipe up from the home menu and it comes up and it, and it does the, you know, and then you could say, uh, okay, Google. And then, oh, sorry, I'd probably just turn on everybody's phone. Uh, hey, look up uh, this and this. Okay. So now they're they're going to have the on tap. Now they're they're going to put the Google Now into the operating system, which I think is a wonderful idea. You know, because I hate going from having to swipe up or swipe up or click the little widget that I have. Now when you like tap, like hold the tap, it will actually come up with a Google Now card will be up from the bottom. I have a post of what it looks like, but I I think that's pretty cool. Android Pay is coming out too. That's a part of Android M. It's going to be basically a rename or a reversion of Google Wallet. Okay, so it's basically wow. the same thing, but they're just going to like have Apple Pay now. They have Android Pay, um, and they're in all these stores are going to be involved in Android Pay too. Is, which is is there a difference between Google Wallet and this newer version? No, nope. other than the name. Other than the name, they they're just going to add a little bit, add a little bit more things but you know you know leave it to android to copy off apple you yeah know, you know God. you know either though they had google wallet first <laughs> I, I i don't know i remember apple announcing it just recently and, oh uh, yeah now all of a sudden there's android pay and all hell's breaking loose. really really so, really because you yeah, know i yeah. even let me see before even nfc was even thought of in an apple i think i was using google wallet then yeah that's right so yeah google wallet had it for how many years i don't know 2006 no 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 2009 i think it was 2009 was google you know, wallet my, my credit union still doesn't have apple Pay. how is I that possible like it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't have it and i wish it did although that being said i don't know that i feel comfortable using it um i'm just i guess i'm just surprised that they don't have it uh, I guess that's probably a lot that Dump of Mine does, and, and I'd like to I'd like to try it once. I'd like to go to McDonald's or Walgreens and and just play pick up my phone once, just to see how it you know how it that, I see that's funny because okay, um I have I have the Google One. I use it most of the time if I think about it, depending mm -hmm. on if I have service in the store or not, because it actually uses the internet to you to to uh, get the information to yeah. to use it for mm -hmm. your card. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when I do it, it it actually it goes to my account just like a normal regular account. I mean, it, it it'll it'll say NFC and then whatever store on my um um online in my bank, and then within so many days, it it takes it out of my account, and then they'll give me a receipt. What happens is, is let's say I go and I go to Myers and I scan it, okay, and mm -hmm. and then it says, okay, yep, it'll go approved and then the receipt pops out within 30 seconds and then i walk away yeah. and then it'll say and then from my not from my bank but from google wallet it'll say hey you have you know this transaction here's here's the amount here's the store it's been approved now within a couple of days it, it's saying that it haven't taken the money out of my bank account yet but we're mm -hmm. gonna fund it for you okay for a second that's what that email means so then Within a couple of other days, it says, okay, then I get another email from, or another notification saying, hey, you're approved, you're, we've taken it out your bank account, okay? So I, I, I'm surprised that it doesn't, yours doesn't, I wonder if Apple Pay works different than Google Wallet, because I just basically put my, my bank account, I mean, yeah, I think I yeah, just I, I don't know. put my credit card. I, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I, don't, sure. I don't know how that I don't know how that would work, but I don't have an iPhone, so I don't know. <laughs> well, that is your first problem. Let's get that. Let's fix yeah, that. Yeah, well, right now. well, I will happily will get one. Uh, no, nah, not for a while, unless it goes open. Then I will get. Then I will might think about it. If 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 it's I like, I don't think that'll happen. Nope. So there'll be a cold day in hell. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yes, I agree. I agree. Yep, unless that happens, which I got to give it to you that the new operating system you have ISO 8, when they chart changing the keyboard, when they did that, that was pretty okay for me. I was looking like, okay, mayor, they're going in the right direction, uh, but I think they're going to stop. You know, I there. forgot they, I, I actually forgot that they did that. I yeah. think I downloaded it 
uh, when that when they did that, I I downloaded an app or whatever it was, and I changed the keyboard. I was like, ah, this isn't for me. And I went back to the normal one, and I've that's the only one I use. Yeah, they got. Don't you say that I may have to go back and take a look again. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, it was, you know. it was buggy probably when you tried and you said forget it, and then now, but I love it. No, I just, it was just it was some, something different. You know, I'm, I was used to the one that's on there, and you know. Yeah, but I love changing my keyboards. That's I have a new one every time. Yeah, you know, every time I want to change it, I have a co- different colors, different keyboards. I can split it the way I want to to do my thumbs. I can, you know, I can make it. I I, I can just have. I mean, I can write now with my finger. You know, I mean, if oh, I. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah that's, that, cool. that's what I'm saying. Is you guys are out of that whole entire. Um, changing it the way you well, okay, I guess you could jailbreak your phone, but changing it to customize you instead of the phone you customizing your yourself to the phone, you know. Right, right. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. that's the thing that bothers me about the, uh, getting an iPhone. That's why I would not. It's just not for me, and I, and I say that for for people. It, it's for some people who just don't want to think about it, um, mm-hmm. but. No, I li- I like to I like to have a phone like the way I want it. You know, I mean, I, yeah. I want my widgets on the top. I, w- I want my Google Now to to be over here. I want my icons where they're on on a on a flat. You know, like where I could just turn on my phone and I can pick certain ones. I I, I that's it's it's just me. You know, <laughs> you know, I I, yeah. I I had it and I missed that when I went from Android to iPhone then then to web OS and then back to Android I was like uh yeah yeah <laughs> I was like okay I, I'm done with this and I ran to the Sprint store by the way I know I say this in many podcasts but I ran to the Sprint store and got me an Android phone <laughs> so t- t- two two years from now when you decide to get the your third HTC phone Will you be getting that third HTC phone on Sprint, or will you be going to another carrier? I think I'm going to go to another carrier. I, I, you I, have, I, no, you you actually did say this the last time. Yes, I said that you didn't do it. to you, and I didn't do it. And I and I know, no, and didn't. I and I and I'm so kicking myself for that. Um, even just even this week, I I got to admit, I I'm driving down the road, and all of a sudden I was. It got cut off. You know, I get I get cut off. So I'm so used to it now, and I'm thinking, why should my service be like this? <laughs> you know, why should I get used to something? Because I, I could tell you exactly where it cuts off. But then they say, well, yeah, well, tell us. Well, how the hell am I going to tell you guys when I'm driving? It's just that I it just it drives me nuts. But I, I got two years, so I, I was I thought maybe they would get their shit together, but. Oh well, I mean, what can I say? Apparently not. Apparently not. Okay, oh, which they said that within two years they will be up to Verizon AT and T status. That's what the CEO said. But I think they're telling people what they want to hear. Yes, I think they do. S H I T. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You could say the word. Hey, I have explicit on the iTunes thing. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I have children, and he doesn't know how to spell the word shit yet. Oh. So I'm just instead of saying sure, I'll say S H I T. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Wait, he's behind you. Oh, <laughs> no, I I'm, 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 I'm just being stupid. I'm oh, okay, 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 okay. So app permissions are changing on Android M, um, also, and that's really it for. It's not really much of an upgrade. Now, do you see why I said people are not excited about it? Yeah, and, uh, ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this is why. This is why people are not excited. It's nothing really to me. I mean, they could have. I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to get it. Don't get me wrong, but. There's nothing to, there's nothing really there. So, my next story. Windows 10 launches July 29th. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, yes, I am so there. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. how they're doing this is um, you get a notification um, on your Windows uh on your Windows PC that it will ask you, hey, this is how the upgrade works. Do you want to reserve? Do you want to reserve? And if you do say yes, then you'll be notified when the Windows 10 is available to download. So that's how it works. Which I haven't got my notification yet. So Microsoft, I want my notification <laughs> so I can because so I, <laughs> I want Windows 10. But I have I have Windows 8, and I gotta I gotta say after the more I start thinking about it, the more I'm starting to hate Windows 8. 
you know? I'm I'm really <laughs> Oh yeah. Well isn't Windows ten supposed to be like Windows eight? It's supposed to be like Windows seven actually. Oh, okay. They're gonna pr- bring back the start bar, bring back arrow glass. They're gonna they're changing the whole browser. They're changing the whole, and which they needed to do. They, they because Windows to me is outdated compared to iOS and Chrome OS to me. Oh, I, I, mean, I agree. Yeah, there was there was a time where Windows was like the most popular, and you know Apple was behind. They were number two, and now it's just, it's hard to believe. Yes, that you know that, that 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 was the case because you know no one was like Android and and, uh, and Apple are just fighting for the number one spot. And the Windows like so far behind. It's like hey, you know, look at me. Yeah, I, I you know Microsoft was the king of the world. Everyone hated Microsoft. Now everybody hates Apple. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, they were the funny. king. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were the king. And I think what happened, Apple came and death slaughtered them. You know, I mean, just like it's like kind of the reverse. It was like Apple was the top with their Macintosh and then Windows came and slaughtered them. OK, I guess it's like Game of Thrones of, of two companies. So now Windows comes in, Apple comes in and slaughters Microsoft again. And then now they're they're. I guess this is their way of getting back. But then Google comes up with a big surprise. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Google was was this. Android wasn't even supposed to be, it was a niche, it was like a project. It wasn't even supposed to be a complete, the way it came out. I mean, it was just supposed to be just people with tech people, you know, if you wanted an operating system and you were building a phone, you could use it for free. That's how Android started. That was it, you know, and it was a niche project, Hmm. you know, and and now (laughs) it's one of the most powerful operating systems in the world on so many phones. It is so funny. Windows 10 will be free for everyone who has Windows 7 Starter, Windows um, 7 Home Edition, Windows 7 Professional mm-hmm. Edition, Windows 8, um, Windows 8.1, and Windows 8.1 Professional. So, so oh, I, nice. I, was sho- I was shocked to see that. And yeah. my last and final story will be, and here's a question for you. So, has anyone sent you a text message to crash your phone lately? No, but I was going to send you a text and tell you you better the hell not. <laughs> Do you know I so almost did it too, and I said I saw yeah, you trying this. I'm sure you did. Yeah, yeah, and I'm glad you didn't, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I would have loved to have crashed your phone and said, like, "That's what your ass gets for getting an iPhone." <laughs> <laughs> but i love the part of this article i gotta read it to you because it is funny so um and i cracked up so hard and this is actually what stopped me from sending you this text okay so this little part before he before he gives us the guy the article gives us how to crash your phone okay here's the message in question remember with great power comes great responsibility so I don't send this, this yeah. so yeah don't send this to anyone unless you're willing to accept the consequences so in other words don't send this to anyone unless you expect to get your ass kicked <laughs> right. or unless you have an android phone because if you have an android phone nothing's gonna happen yeah nothing's gonna happen and then somebody's gonna know you're trying to try to hack them and then you'll still get your ass kicked <laughs> didn't, didn't didn't they fix it though so no Oh, they didn't. No, I mean, have you gotten an update lately? Um, I don't think so. No, you know what? It's even worse because it affects Snapchat and Twitter. So I anybody, use either one. So yeah, 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 yeah. So if you use, yeah, if you use those, are you on Twitter? Do you use Twitter? Not really, not much. Uh, uh-uh. I just kind of just stopped using it and then deleted my account. <laughs> did you really wow yeah. i didn't know that so i kind of speaking of, of accounts and i don't mean to just uh you know uh, get away from your subject but google plus do you still update the google plus page you know what i was going to and i forgot to do that now you just remind i was i i just thought about that just just before i went on the before i did this podcast i was like you know what i forgot that for the google plus uh page is is, is there an app that you can simultaneously update several, like your Facebook and Google Plus, at the same time, so you don't have to go in separately. No, I I looked. No, they but we, but someone should come out with one. Um, so hopefully I thought there was. No, I I uh, I don't think. I mean, I I you know what? I'm gonna look that up. I don't know because I I looked and I didn't see one. Maybe it's called something else. 
Um, but I wish maybe I could. Maybe it's literally called. Maybe it's, maybe the actual app is actually literally called something else. Yeah, maybe yeah, that's what something it's else. Maybe something else. Maybe it's called something else. Yeah, but no, I I I, I need that because I I I need something where I can do them both because I this is how I'd all, yes. all all and my website too. But the website's a little different, so I'm I'm glad I that's separate from from the other. Even though yeah. I added the links mm-hmm. for for YouTube and Facebook, if you go uh, in, onto our website. Um, so you can just mm-hmm. click on it now. Which and it is techpopboom.com. Yeah, which is pe- techpopboom. But <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. That <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Google Plus. I couldn't believe it. But, uh, <laughs> oh, well. So, I'm surprised I'm surprised Google Plus hasn't stopped at this point. I mean, I don't know anyone who uses Google Plus. You know what? You. Yeah, I think I'm the only one. And I would love to convert people over. I just, they're, they just won't leave. Nah. They won't leave. I, I, I try to say, do you know how much better google plus is to me but there's nobody there no, you don't I agree? Don't agree okay well no, I, I, pre- I prefer facebook what don't you like about it I, mean, it's, I don't know it's it's to me it, it, it it's like it's trying too hard to be a facebook clone uh but true. it's more complicated it's more complicated true and why why be a why go to a site that wants to be facebook when you can just go to facebook okay Makes sense. Now here I'll tell you why I hate Facebook. Okay, I hate Facebook because of the ads on the side. I hate Facebook because of the way some people use. It. I hate the fact that my I can't. They only select the certain feeds of certain people. So if you post something, Scott, unless I have you mm-hmm. as a close friend, which I do, on my Facebook, I mm-hmm. I won't see certain posts that you post unless I go and I literally dig for you or click on your name. And that bugs me because there are two views. There's the top view, okay, that people, it depends on. And most recent. And most recent. If I, it's by default by top view. In the past, I could pick which one and would stay that way. But now it doesn't. So I don't know, like, unless I think about it, I don't know whether or not. You said posted something until somebody says, oh, have you seen what you said on my Facebook page or what I said on my Facebook page? Uh no, <laughs> you know, yeah. and that yeah. bugs me. Where at least with Google now, I can say it's there when you post it. No matter which circle you're in, I can say all circles and everything is there. I can't. I it will when I do all friends. I'm not seeing everything, and I feel so bad. I I don't read some people's posts unless I start clicking on everyone's name, which certain which yeah, it, it, it bugs me. Too. Too too confusing for me. Not a, not a Google Plus fan. And, and why? And and why? Here's the other thing about Facebook. They determine what you see, and that bugs me. Why should Why should Facebook determine whose post I see and whose post that I don't see? I would be off of Facebook if 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 so many people weren't on it. I, I it bugs me to where I almost want to hit the delete button sometimes. <laughs> now I got Tech Pop Boom on there. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that's the that's the whole thing with with me and social media. I don't even I don't even I might I might start back up Twitter again. I I don't know. Um, so yeah, I've never been a big fan of Twitter. Yeah, I might I might I might do that again. Um, only because uh, um, I I might start a different one. Maybe my my email address or something. But so anyway, on this crash phone, has so. Do you want to try? Uh, can I try crashing your phone? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I just want to try this so bad, and nobody wants. To, nobody wants to try. I mean, you, you can try try doing it to another guy at work that we work with who has an Apple phone. Oh. I don't want to say over the show, but oh, you know what yeah. I'm talking about. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, well, I'm gonna ask him next. I'm gonna say, can I? No, I, no, I, no, 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 no! Don't ask him. Don't ask him. Gonna, <laughs> I'm sure he won't mind. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, yeah, because he's gonna think it's coming from you. <laughs> <laughs> so I might do it, and I'm gonna say, I, you know what? I, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do it? Oh, uh, but uh, yeah. 
And my last, let's see. And that is really it about me. Um, unless you want to go to the part about the whole entire streaming part. I mean, I got a ton well, of stuff. Well, hold on. To let's, say. let's, yeah, save the streaming part. Cause I just want to make a, I want to talk about this Apple TV thing. Okay. Uh, a- Apple TV, well, Apple's supposed to have this big to do, uh, I think next week where they're supposed to talk about their new, uh, uh, streaming music app or that uh, Apple and Beats are coming up with a, a Spotify competitor, uh, and I don't know what else. Like I think they're supposed to announce iOS nine and uh, whatever. But they, one of the things they were supposed to announce was the Apple TV, and it's been so long since they've updated this Apple TV. I have a, a, a the streaming stick, uh, the TV in the basement, and I was really hoping to get the, uh, an Apple TV or something for the TV upstairs. And I figured, well, you know, I'm just going to wait for this new app because they've been talking about it. They said, yeah, we're going to announce it in. In uh, what, what is this? This is June. They're yeah. announced the new Apple TV in June, and it was it was a sure thing. And there's article after article about it. it's coming out, and we're going to announce it. This is great. Okay, I'll just wait till till June, and I'll get it then. Well, now here it is. It's literally a freaking week away, and now they're saying that uh, Apple, you know, uh, they postponed it, and they're not going to release it until God knows when. Oh said, no! Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, so they're no. supposed to release it next week. No, it hasn't happened yet, so it may not be the case. But, uh, you know, everyone and their brother, again, for months, they they were talking about the sample TV and how they were going to announce that. I I was so happy. And now they're just taking it all back, saying, oh, yeah, well, now now they're not going to announce because they couldn't get the deals together. There's talk about uh, they wanted to have local TV uh, stations like, you know, where we live, it's, uh, you know, Channel 24 and 7. They wanted to have local uh, channels, and they wanted to have, like, a a group of channels, like... uh, Sling TV. We've talked about Sling before. Yeah, TV. yeah. We have like a group of, of thirty channels and say, okay, this we're gonna offer this package at this price. Uh, and I guess they just couldn't come up with whatever. They couldn't sign the, the contracts or they couldn't you know, put the deal together in time. But they were they were still gonna announce the Apple TV and just uh, announce that you know the, all the channels at a later date. But whatever you know, it's it's not what they're saying. It's not gonna happen, and that pisses me off. You've been waiting for that Apple TV for as long as I know. Since they... Yeah, you know, I'm gonna be, and I'm not, I'm done waiting. I'm not getting it. They, I'm done. I'm just gonna go get the Roku and be done with it. Yeah, I, I mean, at least Chromecast with their Chromecast TV is coming out. I mean, within what is it? It's already out. I'm sorry, it's already out. Their Nexus TV, Pro- you know, and it, it does the same thing with the whole thing about the apps. I mean, they actually well, yeah, add I mean, it. I, I, I really, I really like my my Roku. I just want to get the Apple TV because. We have all Apple products in the house. We yeah. have, you know, all iPads and iPhones. And I thought, well, it's just you know, it's your Apple, it's great you're, for the Apple TV. But I am not going to wait another six months or more just for the stupid Apple. I'm done. I'm done waiting. Apple, you dropped the ball. And, and I'm going to wait a week. I'm a week. Yeah. But after that, I'm done. I'm done waiting. I'm not going to wait anymore. But uh, you're Apple fanboy number one. How, how could you <laughs> not get... Uh, uh, Apple TV when it comes out, aren't you gonna? I thought you were like gonna stand in line, rain, shine, no, sleep, hail, no, I don't stand in lines. Nope, tornadoes, stand in lines. floods, everything. Nope. <laughs> you that, know? That's that's what Amazon Prime is for. Amazon okay. Prime. Okay. 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 Besides the besides the Apple TV, what else do I have? Oh, I have two more things, and then we'll get into uh, movies and streaming video and that kind of good stuff. Um, music. This is my music portion. Um, any and anyone out there who likes rock, which is pretty much when I talk about music, it's going to be pretty you know 100 percent rock. I don't you know that that's my thing. I listen to bass drums, you know melodic vocals, that kind of thing. Uh, there's an album that came out this past week by a band called The Darkness. The album is called Last of Our Kind, and you know it may not be for everyone because this guy's vocals can be kind of I guess ear piercing because he has a really high register. He has a really kind of high voice. Uh, I dig it. I think this album is just great. I think this is like um, this. It's just you know, it's, it's the, the band of the moment, in my opinion. This is the band uh, you know you want to pay attention to. Uh, there's no band that's going to you know be played on the radio. I mean, that, that doesn't happen anymore. But uh, this is a band. Uh, it's just it's a really fun album. If you like rock, if you just like melodic, you know, like I say, guitar, bass, and drums, check out the darkness. Last of Our Kind. It's available on Spotify. Uh, it's on iTunes. I, I don't even know if there's any music stores available anymore. But uh, you know what? Uh, there is, I think that back, it's supposedly available at Best Buy with two bonus tracks. 
I haven't been there. I didn't even realize Best Buy sold CDs anymore. But apparently, this particular album is available at Best Buy with two bonus tracks. So if you still buy CDs and you're a rock fan, check out The Darkness, Last of Our Kind. I tell you, I really love it. I love it a lot. I love it so much that I, I, I have Spotify. Uh, I downloaded this album, and I downloaded every one of their albums. I think they have four or five albums. And today at work, I listened to Nothing But The Darkness, and it was great. I loved it. So, Weren't you in The Darkness? Sorry, <laughs> no, it's called, nope. no, it's just called The Darkness. <laughs> the darkness. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry. To yeah. it. And the last thing I have is uh, I bought a, a DVD. So I'm a big fan of the Three Stooges. And I've always been a, a you know, just a Three Stooges nerd. My brother and I growing up, we used to stay up late on Saturday night to watch comedy classics on Channel 50. And we'd stay up and watch the Three Stooges and we would laugh and we'd wake my mom up and she would, you know, wake up the next morning and just laugh about how we were laughing. It was just great, just great memories. And I was looking on the internet and I seen that Mo of the Three Stooges, Mo Howard, his son, uh, has this box set. It's called uh, Hey Mo, Hey Dad. And it's a nine hour documentary on the Three Stooges. And it's narrated by, and, and the whole thing is by Mo's son, Paul Howard. And I'm about maybe uh, the three CDs. I'm into the, I guess, maybe the third hour of the nine hours. And, and listen, if you're a Stooges fan, are you kidding me? You have got, don't even, don't even think about it. Just, it, it's $15. I got a $15 free shipping at Target. It's available again on Amazon for 15 bucks. If, again, if you're a Stooges fans, there's no reason to think. Go out and get it because it's a no brainer. Besides the three CDs, it comes with a plethora. And damn it, I mean a plethora of memorabilia. You'll be, I mean, there's like, papers and I, I, i'm not even going to give it away just buy it and you won't be sorry I'm, you're, you're going to post something on tech bob boom saying hey you are right this is incredible it's just it's a great they don't make this kind of stuff anymore uh, usually when you put something out it's a dvd and you're lucky if you get an insert there's so much stuff available in this dvd box set it's again it's a no-brainer three stooges uh it's called hey mo hey dad check it out you're gonna love it so, with that, um, let's talk about some, some TV shows and some movies, Brandon. Okay, 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 okay. So, on our... Just today, I found out that Netflix is finally coming out with a science fiction show. <laughs> I was I was so ecstatic. <laughs> because, I don't know if you if listened to our previous podcast, for those of yeah, you, you who you have iTunes. This, yeah. I mentioned this many times, that how come, you know, where's the good science fiction shows? And finally, they have one. Okay, which it's today. So, which if, if I post this podcast, it would be tomorrow, yesterday. <laughs> but it's called Sense8. Okay. So, what it's about, it is about. I, I was just going to say, I had heard. No, I, don't, I haven't watched a second of it. But I had heard that this is one of those shows that you kind of remain clueless up until, the, you know, as you learn more as the show progresses. Like you watch the first show and you have no idea what's going on. And, you know, as the, the show progresses, you slowly learn more. And then by the end of the episode, everything starts to make sense. Hmm. I don't know if that's the case. But if that's the case, I'm already not interested because I hate shows like that because Lost was like that. They keep you tagged along or, you know, they keep you going and. What does that's this, what true. these numbers mean? You know, and I, I hate that. Just let me know what's going on. I don't want to guess. Just yeah. tell me what's going on. But anyways, I haven't watched a second of it, so I have no idea. So please. Me continue. neither. I haven't watched a second of it either because I just found out today. Um, right. But I, I like shows like that. I, I liked Lost. Lost was okay until they start. It just dragged. That's the part I yes. didn't like about Lost. Yeah. So yeah. if this doesn't drag... The- um, this is cool. Yeah. Okay, so it's about a group of people around the world are suddenly linked mentally and must find a way to survive by being haunted by those who see them as a threat in the world order. So this is by the Wakosi. I can never say their name. Wakosi. Uh, they did the Matrix. Okay, so. The oh, Matrix and yeah, yeah, yeah. They did the Matrix. They did do Speed Racer. They did Cloud Atlas. Oh yeah, they did yeah, 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 Ascending yeah. Jupiter. You know, mm-hmm. uh, but the list goes on and on. So then I, I I start thinking about how science fiction for a second. And when I found out that they were doing it, there was this article that I came across about how the Matrix have killed science fiction movies. 
And I start thinking about this for a second, and I said, you know what? That's that's probably right. But I have a whole different opinion from the person who wrote this article. But I think he he's on to something. I, I think he's right about one thing is that the Matrix kind of took the bar and rose it, okay, for science fiction movies, okay? Because back then you had Star Wars and blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. But, I mean, when I, I remember... And I was like, what? I was in a senior in high school, which was a very long time ago. And it was like 19. So that's 1990, well, 1998. I think it came out 98, 97. And I remember seeing um, The Matrix. Or no, it was, after, it was after high school. And I remember this was a movie that I'd never seen like this before in my life. Okay. I've never seen. I've never seen The Matrix to this You've day. I still haven't never seen, seen it. Oh. No. No. Okay. And I'll be honest. I, I'll be honest. I have no interest in seeing it either. And, and interest to see it because I. This was. I. I. It was a, one of those movies to where you didn't know. Well, the movies you kind of hate. <laughs> you didn't know mm-hmm. what was going on until until you got kind of got to the end. And I didn't like the continuation of the Matrix, like the the second one and the third one. You know, yeah, I, didn't I heard like those. those. I heard those weren't very good. No, they weren't very good. I, they they could have did that entirely differently. But um, when but when I saw the Matrix, everyone then tried to copy that style if you've noticed that all yeah i mean even yeah. streck made fun of it that one time i mean they were making fun yes. of me because of where she goes and she kicks it and they do that twist <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so okay streck i mean when i saw streck i thought i cracked up so hard because and then so it i i think that the the way and so science fiction got expensive because that was not a cheap movie to do i mean I'm sure, yeah. it's sci- so i think that's why a lot of science fictions um why people don't do science fiction shows tv shows is because they're so expensive to do they have yeah. the graphics you have to have the cgi you have to have the green screen you have to have stop people it, it just and, and that's why i think there's not that many out there and that's kind of sucks is they have to go to they have to go to that standard, but oh, go ahead. There's that one. There's that one um, on Yahoo Screen. What's the name of that science fiction show? Oh, I, oh Screen? that was that was another one I, was, I just watched today. Um, out, outer space. Is that what it's called? Outer space. Oh no 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 no. Oh wait no not outer space. It's a uh, shoot. I just watched it today. Other space. Thank you. Other space. That's yes, that. Yes. Yes. Which it's also got the it's it's got the guy from that. That show that was on Amazon about the computer geeks. What was that show called? Oh, <laughs> oh beta, <laughs> beta, beta, beta. Right? Was beta. That, that show has been it's done. They're not going to continue that. Did you know uh, that. I didn't know that. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's just it's a rip off. I shouldn't say it's a rip off, but it's the exact same thing as. Uh, I can't think of any names of the show, but I'm terrible. What's the story <laughs> HBO about the computer guys? Uh, the computer Silicon guys. Valley. Yeah, it's just it's identical to Silicon Valley. The beta wasn't as good. Yeah, I, I I didn't mind betas, but other space, uh, other space, yeah. other space. Since I just watched that today, so I'm on episode four now, um, and I stopped to do the podcast. I liked other space. I have to admit that was a good show yeah. because okay, it's fun. It's it's fun. It's fun. Isn't it funny? I mean, some parts got yeah. me crack it up. Okay, but it I could see, but it's uh, how could you say it's it's not making fun of science fiction like so I, some articles were saying it was making fun of science fiction and it was the set no that's the time that they're in so he's trying to be cool and then they're yeah. kind of it he got thrown into in command I, I don't i don't want to spoil it but he got well actually this is just the first episode so i'm just gonna say he got thrown into being the captain because he passed this test but then unfortunately he has to bring his sister too yeah. <laughs> so, it's like a yeah. command. so then he gets yep. to pick his crew so he picks the girl that uh that he There's has a crush, crush on, on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then his best friend who doesn't know anything <laughs> yeah yeah. But the engineer came with the ship, so he couldn't get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's wonderful. It's, it's to talk about it. I'll have to go back and, and 
I'll have to go back and it's finish wonderful. watching it. I, I didn't watch it. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful because I was like, you know what? I really, this was a really, really good show. I, I, I got to continue on. So I'll let you know at the next podcast what I think of it because I'm only on episode four. So, well, I, I think you just did, you just did. You let us know. You told us it was wonderful. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna end crap, how it's gonna end or anything. But I, I like it so far. So. So uh, before um, before you go on to your, your your next movie pick, let me just get this out of the way. Okay. 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 I'm gonna tell you about this movie I just watched. I don't know that it's even on uh, DVD or if it's released on streaming video. Um, I, I watched it on some website, but it's called X Machina. E X M A C H I N A. Uh, it's it's great. It's uh, a, a young coder who works at the world uh, the world's largest internet company. He went to competition to spend a week with a private at a private retreat uh, who, uh, of uh, the CEO of the company that he works for. He's like a Steve Jobs kind of a guy, but he's a recluse. He lives in this this, this house. In this He has all kind of property. Anyways, once he gets to this guy's house, he, he, he learns that he's going to participate in a bizarre experiment which involves interacting with the world's first true artificial intelligence, which comes in the form of a beautiful female robot. And, oh, my God, Brandon, it, it really is good. I mean, just thinking back on this movie, it's, I wish you would have watched because this is a movie I would love to talk to you. Remember okay, when you watched, watched her it. and okay. you, you were so excited, and then we yes. talked about it on the one episode. We just kept going on and all these things. This is the same thing. You're gonna want to watch. You're gonna watch this movie, and we're gonna talk about it. And you're gonna get so excited, and it's you gotta watch. Okay, Ex okay, Machina. okay. So X is really good. This, so, this, and then what happens? He, the, the guy, he, he goes to his house and he meets this robot, and then they start to fall in love with each other. But at the same time. You know, she says, hey, be careful of this guy. The guy who built you know, the Steve Jobs, be careful of this guy. You can't trust him, you know? And then so they, is, is, is she really falling in love with him or is she using him? It's great. It's great, Brad. So you mean like Bicentennial Man? I don't know if Bicentennial Man is. <laughs> okay. No, a movie where like 2000 and it's with Robin Williams and uh, well, I can't remember her name, but it's it's a robin williams movie where he becomes a robot and then over years over time and he falls in love with the, oh uh, yeah yeah this is yeah this is, this is much better much than better that. much better okay than that. Yes, oh, okay yes. x machina i'm okay. telling you okay, x I'm machina watch. brandon by the next episode you have you must have watched this episode or this movie so we can talk about okay, it. Okay, okay, I'll watch. It's on the air. That's, it's that's the... recorded. It has to be done. Okay, okay. So now I have to do it because he said it. But so okay, everyone, I will watch it, and we'll talk about it the next episode. So okay. <laughs> okay, so, so your next subject. What is what is the next show you wanted to talk well, okay, about? Okay, the next show I wanted to talk about was um off of was Daredevil. Okay, so it's, uh, oh, yeah. okay. So Daredevil. Okay. I'm not a comic book fan. I, I, I like the movies. I like the Marvel movies. And, mm -hmm. uh, but I thought Daredevil was pretty good. I, I thought it started off slow, and then it yeah, started I agree. to... I, yeah, I agree. I think it's good. Uh, but it, 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 to me, there were parts that moved a little too slow. Yeah, I think they, they, they could have gotten to the point a lot quicker, uh, you know, maybe it didn't have to be an hour. Maybe some shows didn't have to be... I, I don't know what they could I'm not a writer. But uh, I thought the show, when it was good, holy shit, it was great. Yes, it was there great. Were, there were there were too many times where it, it, it was kind of slow. And I don't want to say boring, but it, it should have. But all that being said, I, I did enjoy it. I thought it was very well done. I thought it. I thought it was. I thought it was very well done too. I, I mean, the beginning, I, 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 I was starting to lose interest in the middle. I mean, and then, I agree. and I then, agree. and yeah. then at the end, it was starting to get good because okay, and then, and then at the very end, I was like, okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the end is when it starts to get good. I mean, you you want to the whole time you watch the show, you want to watch, you want to see when the Daredevil costume. Yeah, you want to see, you know, what the costume that he wears throughout the whole, and he doesn't want to do that until the very last episode. The very last episode, and like one yes. of the very, the very one of the very last scenes of the very last episode, but. <laughs> They're going to do another season, and in the next season, they're going to be doing, you know, obviously you'll see him in this costume more, but they're going to bring in Electra, and they're going to bring in other characters from the book, and from probably from that you're more familiar with from the movie, and uh, I'm sure it'll be even more interesting, and it'll be even better than... Hopefully it'll fill in the gaps, you know. So yeah, she it'll it'll good. it'll fill in the gap. Okay, okay, okay. Because I I now I will be there for the next episode. Um, I mean next season. So 
Um, mm-hmm. um, I'm, I'm, I'm not like turned off from it. So I was just thinking how slow it was going. The same problem yeah. I have with Game of Thrones. The same exact problem where it's it's but going. You can't good. say that now, though. Game of Thrones. Uh, I can't is say so that. I, I can't say that now. I can't say that now. Oh, it's it's so good. Remember yeah. the last episode? You said you were hoping something good would happen to one of them. You know. Oh yeah. Finally, she. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that was the episode. Yeah. The previous one of this podcast, which I know yeah. if you watch it later, you're not gonna know, but. But the preview, okay, the one where she finds out that her brothers are still alive, that he really didn't burn them, and he knows that yeah. he or, or I should say, um, and you also, but what, what also, and then the queen, you know, the mother queen is finally gonna get her justice because they throw her in the dungeon too for her sins, you know. She's yes. yeah, yeah. I thought no, and she's they, she she's not the queen. She's the, the, the yeah mother. the king's mother. I should say she was the queen at the very beginning. I'm sorry. Seriously, <laughs> seriously, yeah. she was the queen at the beginning. I'm sorry. I'm still uh, I'm still thinking about episode. <laughs> I mean season one. Um, but but I thought now the way it ended. Okay, the last the last episode ended where the the wild not the wild things the wild things were fighting with them. It was the yeah what, what's like the, the, the... The winter people. Winter people, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, dang it! I can't remember with the with the I blue know, dark yeah, blue the eyes, zo- the, the zombie the people. Zombie guys, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was awesome. That oh, was I so mean, good. it was yeah. so good, and, and and I mean, just I mean, my heart sank when all those people. Okay, so all of them are dead. You know, I mean, he. I mean, a slaughter fest happens within. I mean, fifty yeah. minutes of everyone just getting slaughtered. Okay, uh, I mean, so I. And then at the very end, when he's on that boat, and, and everyone wakes up as one of the the those zombie people, and now he's now they got a bigger army to bite, and the look on his face is like, oh shit. I'm never going to beat these people. What the hell am I going to do? You know, I can't wait until the next episode. I, I literally was like, oh, this and is why I need a power watch. Yeah, there's, only, there's, there's only two episodes <laughs> yeah, left. There's only two episodes yeah. left. This is like, this yeah. is why I need a power watch. This is why I need a power watch. Because now there's I a guy, that, a guy that we work with, uh, he hasn't watched any of it yet because I think he's waiting for the show to end so he can do just that. He can watch it all in one sitting. Yeah, setting. yeah, yeah. You know what? He doesn't. He doesn't like to wait week to week. No, no, and I don't. I don't like it either. I think I said it. Yeah, last podcast. I, I don't like it. I, I, I just sitting here. I'm going. Okay. I'm. That's been on my mind all week. <laughs> <laughs> Is watching that to see to just. To, I want to know what happens next. So, Game of Thrones. I think I, know, cool. I, I, th- I, th- I think I know what happens because I remember reading. An article saying that they're gonna they're filming this big exciting scene. They didn't say what it was, but they kind of hinted around at what it was. And after watching last week's episode, I'm pretty. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I'm pretty sure I know the direction they're going. Oh, and I'll, we'll talk. We'll talk about it offline. Okay, so okay, okay, that's, okay. Not that I know because I don't know. But, okay. Um, yeah, I think I know the direction it's going, and it, it's going to be nuts if that's the case. Okay. Oh wait, wait, wait! I don't want you to spoil it, though. <laughs> well, I, don't, I, I don't. I don't know that this is going to happen. Okay. I mean, okay. Put yeah, because put the pieces of the puzzle together, and you can figure it out. They do change. Yeah, they do. They did change a lot from the book, from what I read. I mean, it's not well, the, the exact same. The books they they weren't finished. Uh, they half this episode wasn't even in the books. Yeah, the oh, part okay. When the people that that was never in the books. The part with uh, the Stark down and the red headed Stark that was never in the books. Really? As far as as far as what's going on with her, I don't want to give anything away. But that one, my understanding is that was never in the books either. Interesting. See, I haven't read the books, and I was thinking about it. But every but yeah, he's a either. he's a one finger typer. Uh, the guy who writes it, so it's gonna take him a while. Um, oh, I didn't know that. No. <laughs> yes. yeah. And he uses a DOS machine. He doesn't use Windows. Oh my God! Yeah, he uses a DOS machine. He doesn't. Yeah, because he says the Windows just distracts him from what he wants to do. So wow. uh, I'm Crazy. shocked. Yeah. I'm shocked. I mean, if it was me, I would say, okay, you know what? Here, here is a Windows 95 machine. Um, there we go. Not a lot of distra- You know, internet wasn't made then, but at least you're up to date and has a spell checker. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So last week you asked me about Orphan Black, and I did watch yes. all of it. And I and, and I did many, watch it. How many episodes are are have there, have there been aired? Uh, I think there's five, six. Oh, five up? Really, six episodes yeah, I think already? It's five or six? Yeah, yeah. I'm not oh. sure. Yeah, because I went and through I... one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. 
So this is the you, you, you watch all five episodes. I watch all five episodes. So I I, yeah. I haven't watched the last week's one, but because last week's no no I haven't well, watched be, be, this week before you, before you tell me how these new episodes are. I do vividly remember you telling me you liked last season, and I absolutely hated last season. Yes. I, I didn't mind last season. I, I thought that was a very, very... I'm going to say they they I, I, they did a good job with this one, covering the holes in the last season. I'm, I'm going I'm to say the, that. Last season, the last season, I, in my opinion, was just painfully boring. Po- painfully just, boring, yes. Yes, yes. Was. yes. And, and they had holes, too. I... I, I but you're saying that. this season is better. You're, this you're season, is so better. season is better. This better, yeah. It's it's better. Is, I, it, I, is it worth is it worth watching? Is it worth me wasting my time? Yeah, I I do wish I could say that knowing the ending. Um, yes, I think ah oh, maybe you know, might not. Maybe you have to get back with me on that question because I'm going to say I'm in the middle with that because I don't want to say yes and waste your time and then the ending be crappy. Um, Talk about the ending. I mean, sometimes the ending is not always okay. Great, but the, I mean, is, is, is it holding your attention? Is yes, it, it, it holds my attention. It? it holds my attention, especially at one part I don't want to give away. But yes, uh, well, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> just say I'll just say what happens. They, um, no, don't tell me. Okay. I haven't watched it yet. okay, 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 okay. I was gonna say uh, I won't tell you, but it does hold your attention because of what happened in the last season, kind of. It's continued in this season, okay? So yeah, well, you know what I'll do is I'll try and watch the first episode, okay, and then kind of go well, from there. Well, the first episode of the, the third. Yeah, the uh, okay, go to second episode. First episode of the third season is kind of yeah. Go to second one. Second one, third, fourth, okay. and fifth, and then you know I'll probably watch six. Seven. I'm, <laughs> I'm just I'm just letting them collect. But I, I so I did watch it, and I'm gonna give it a kind of thumbs up. Uh, I'm gonna say. Con- well, I need to see where it's going first. You're pretty much the type of guy who you'll pretty much, I, I think, unless it's not something you're totally not interested in, I think you pretty much like everything. No, no I don't like everything. I, ha- I hate, um, um, I like science fiction, and it's a science fiction show. So I'm all into that whole science fiction thing, but not yeah, everything. I, I could I could tell you I could tell you movies I hate. I hate, okay, <laughs> we could go with <laughs> hating. <laughs> I didn't couldn't stand Star Wars for the longest time. How dare you, I sir? I could not, and that's a science fiction, and I could not okay, stand. And it. That was tech pop boom for this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Week. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I could stand only because I never knew what was going on in episode four, five, and six, and and the reason why, okay, and I think is because the George Lucas kind of. I mean, he did it in the middle. I know, okay, I didn't understand things until 1, 2, and 3 came out. And everybody says 1, 2, and 3 were, like, 1 was bad, 2 was yeah, terrible, terrible yeah. and 3, they weren't, like, the same. But it <sighs> filled the hole that I needed to be filled for me to like the rest of it. I, that doesn't, yeah, for me, it's not a big deal because Star Wars came out in 79. I mean, yeah. The, the episodes 1, 2, and 3 didn't come out until, what, 90s or something? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you know, I mean, it went years before that was even a, a thought in his brain. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I mean, Star Wars but, on its own is a, it's a classic. Yeah, it's a they classic. Are. But if I had met George Lucas before he came out with those movies, this is the questions I would ask him. Here are the questions. I, 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 mean, I When I watched, I never had seen Star Wars. So I went over to a friend's house and I watched. So, you know, she was like, hey, you know, you never seen Star Wars. Okay, fine. Here, I got them on videotape. And these were when he redid them with the new stuff. Okay, they were yeah, on videotape. They yeah. were on VHS. Okay, they tell you how long ago. So I said, okay, mm-hmm. fine. So we bench watched. First episode goes by. I'm like, uh, okay, uh, okay. I'm first, or I should say the fifth, right? Or fourth? Or wait, fourth. fourth. Okay. Yeah. We'll start fourth. But I call it the first. Star, I st- star, star Wars is up episode four. Yeah, yeah, episode four. Okay, which that part I asked was the very first thing when she popped the DVD. I mean, the not DVD, the VHS in there. Um, hey, why does it start at four? Uh, uh, I don't, I don't know, because there's stuff that happened at the beginning. Oh, okay. So we watching it, and so we go through and blah blah blah. And I guess I'm not spoiling anything because everyone has seen Star Wars. <laughs> so then yeah. when he gets to the father part, and he goes, cuts off his hand, he's on the thing, and he says, "Oh, I, uh, Luke, I'm your father." Okay, I had to say, hit. I ran up there, hit the pause button, and I'm like, "How is now becoming? He's uh, is, is his father." 
I, I, I don't know. So it was always the I don't knows because I was like, okay, so I get to the end of the last one and where the Ewoks are dancing and okay and everything else. And then I'm okay at the end and I'm like, okay, so let me, so how is that his father first off? I mean, I had so many questions. It was so confusing to me, you know? And so how yeah. did the, okay, so how did Darth Vader happen? I mean, so why i mean what there was a history there's a pat why well, you know i mean but i guess they, it's the they, book. they explained it though they they explained that in the movie they explained that in Star Wars. Five. they explained yeah, it yeah no, no no of course in episode four ben kenobi luke asks him in the very beginning of the movie about his father and ben explains to him that you know his father you know used to fight with him and the, the yeah. wars and they were they were good friends and then he got taken over by the dark side and he explains that yeah yeah, know, yeah in but, the very beginning but i just Okay, yeah, he did say it in the very beginning. You were very right. He did. Yeah. Um, See? Yeah, okay. Uh, he does say it. You're right. Now that I have every DVD of Star Wars, um, <clears throat> I, I, I just, that was, that was, that was something I, I didn't like until now. Um, okay, another one I can't stand. Okay. All of the Lord of the Rings movies. I cannot stand Lord of the Rings. Oh, me too. Oh, don't even waste our time talking about that. Oh, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not no. gonna start. Okay, I don't I've like... I've never seen it. So I've never seen it, so I couldn't think anything about I, it. I, I no cannot interest. stand Lord of the Rings. I was just, I tried. Nope, I tried so hard. Nope, I, okay. I didn't, I didn't even try. Um, okay. That, so you, so, yeah, let's see what else. Uh, what else do I hate regardless? Uh, <laughs> the, okay. No, I like the original series Star Trek. I was going to say the original series Star Trek I couldn't stand, but I like those now. Now that I, I, I've watched them as, as older, as an older Brandon, I, I like those now. Um, an older Brandon. Yeah, because the younger... Person. Okay, okay. You're funny. I, I, I used to watch... How, how I got Star Trek was... How I, I liked Star Trek was every... In middle school, when Star Trek The Next Generation was on TV, it was on... It was, but at night, they replayed the episodes on Channel 50 on all the, you know, the, the, the previous episodes, right? So I'd watch them every night before I would go to bed, which was at 12 o'clock, but my mom never had, like, a, a bedtime. She never... So I... I mean, basically, her thing was, if you get tired, that's your fault. <laughs> but your ass has still got to get up at whatever time to go to school. So, okay. So I would stay up and I had TV in my room and I'd watch all the Star Trek Next Generations and the Star Trek, the old Star Treks. And, and that was what my, how my love of science fiction started was because, and I watched the original series just because I was like, oh my God, come on after Star Trek Next Generation. So I'd watch them all. And then I was like, okay. So I'd watch them and I didn't like them. Until I started to rewatch them because they were on Amazon Prime, okay, and they remastered them and redigitized them so they're clear and they're bright and stuff like that. And I gotta right. say, I, I I like them now. Now I would own them all on DVD if if I didn't have Amazon Prime. But um, yeah, that's I guess I guess you're right. There are not a lot of many episodes I don't like. Um. Oh, I hate Blade Runner. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I hate Blade Runner. I don't. I didn't like Blade Runner with Harrison Ford. I didn't get I've that. I've seen that one. Kind of, I've seen that one kind of late. And aren't they supposed to be making a sequel? Or they're doing something up with that. They're making a new one. Aren't they? Re That's what I thought. Yeah, I, didn't well, like I can Blade take Runner. it or leave it. I, I I didn't see when it came out. I just saw it, in, you know later years, and it didn't do anything for me. Yeah. No. No. I didn't like that. Blade. I I thought that was. Um, I didn't like the the last two Matrix. Matrix. I mean, I'm well, like, okay, they were okay. No, never saw I it. Like them. Yeah, um, never saw it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Not you're, interested. Because I guess, I guess, I, I like. Oh, Heroes. I hated the end of Heroes. Um, I gave up on Heroes. Way, yeah. you know, the, I shouldn't say in the beginning, but once it started the drag, and you know, I just stopped. That's really, yeah, that's really it I can think of. I mean, there's not that. I think because I go into it with an open mind. You know? Yeah. That's what I do. I, yeah. I go into it with an open mind. And then and then when I get to the end, I go, okay, maybe they're going somewhere. Maybe they're not, you know? But yeah. that, that's yeah. me. So, my next show. Okay. So, um, I was thinking of uh, House of Cards. I know you're, you don't like that. Oh, you don't like House of Cards? 
<laughs> okay. Oh, I hate I hate politics with a passion. I tried. <laughs> I tried. I mean, really, I tried. I think two or three different times to watch this show. Now, that being said, I hate politics, but there's a show on HBO called Veep, and I love Veep. Okay. It's okay. Vice President, and I haven't watched. And Veep. I love it. And I haven't oh, watched. Oh, you got to. It's great. Okay. okay I can't okay. stand politics. It's the most boring, vile thing in the world. But uh, and House of Cards, I tried three times to watch that show. I just. I just have no interest in it. I liked it. I mean, the, okay, I'm only on the second season, so I haven't made it to the third one yet. But I'm on the, uh, yeah, the first season, I, I mean, in the very beginning, it starts off slow, but at the very end, I was like, wow. So, um, um, I I like that, but but I, I, I guess I'm into politics. So, I mean, I mean, I, I understand the whole po- political game. So mm-hmm. maybe that's why that I like that show. You know, but I've heard so much about it that that's why I had to watch it next. So, <laughs> so since you yeah. haven't seen it, I'll move to my last one, which is Orange is the New Black. Oh yeah, that's supposed to be coming out, isn't it? This month, a new episode. Yes, it's supposed to be like I think it within next week. I think it's next week. I did not know that. Sweet. Nice. Yes, it's next week because there's an yeah. article that I posted on our Facebook page about binge watching, which we talked about the last episode. That maybe they should do it by week instead of all at one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so she was yeah. saying that maybe they were thinking about that, which please don't because I like your I like that model of how I can just sit there and just watch and watch and watch. I I do too, but I think there's a lot to be said about watching a show week to week. It gets people talking. A lot of you know media posts, articles, and stories and. You know, you can kind of examine the episode, whereas when you release, you know, 12 hours or 13 hours of a show all at once, people watch, you know, they'll watch it all at once, and it just, it just, it, uh, the, the excitement is, is done a lot sooner, you know? Uh, I, I like it that way, too. I like to watch it all at once, because I, I'd much rather have it all at once yeah. instead, instead of week to week, but I think there's a lot to be said about releasing week to week. Yeah, but see... Like, I, Game of Thrones, for me, would be ten times better if I could watch it all at one time. Yeah. I hate watching yeah, it right. the way I'm watching it now. I, 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 I just am, like, sitting here going, okay, next time I might just wait to the end and then just totally watch it. You know, like that. Yeah, that, that, would, be, that would be hard because I see everyone watching it and... Yeah, I, I don't think I could do that or not. You don't think you could do that? Okay, okay. But that is my only, that is my last one um, of all the next class. I mean, I'm going to watch more because I guess since Origins of the New Black is coming out in like two yeah. weeks from now, I've got two now shows to talk about. That's why I was like, well, this is kind of our, pod, uh, our uh, podcast about Netflix, but... Uh, I got more that I'll have on next week's show, <laughs> or not next week, but the next week following, because we do it in two weeks. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so next time, Orange is New Black will be done. We'll take a look at uh, Sense Eight, and you have to watch X Machina. Okay, I will watch X Machina. Now, is it at the? Mo- I will actually, if it's out at the movies, I will go to the movies. Since um, you know, I I, I I can't answer. You have to look it up. I know because I saw it. I looked. I watched it on one of those websites okay, okay. Uh, it, was, it was streaming on some website i said i think i sent you the link okay so okay. look it up i mean let's see okay. if, i don't know if it's available on streaming i don't know if it's available on dvd i don't know yeah I, take a look at it find it and watch it okay okay no okay so we'll watch that on the uh, we'll, we'll we'll do that on the next uh show um let me see anything anything else i mean do you have uh I can't no, think of anything. That's all I got. No, yeah, that's all that's I got. All I got. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Well, um, yeah, sure. basically, uh, you could go to our podcast. Uh, so you can go to our use our feed. You can use us on iTunes. You can. We're. I usually am going to update Tech Pop Boom. So, the stories that we may not uh, have said or have um have mentioned on this podcast you're very welcome to comment and we gonna mention them on the next one <laughs> because i'm just yeah, yeah. i'm just posting the whole two weeks i'm using tech pop boom as like an aggregator I'm, I'm basically just pointing you at websites that i find interesting for you know my mm-hmm. you know for you guys who listen you know yeah, i mean yeah. that's that's basically what i'm using the facebook tech pop boom for so. yeah go to face go to our facebook page go to youtube go to google plus uh, go to iTunes uh, if you'd like leave comments uh, if you want to rate us on iTunes that would be cool that would be great you can be the first one to give us a rating on iTunes <laughs> first <time>. one <laughs> um, you know hit, hit, hit the subscribe button if you like us tell us you like us tell us you hate us 
show us some love you know whatever you want to do if you like it great I, I hope that you do if not that's fine too it's not for everybody but uh uh, yeah. YouTube, don't yeah. forget about YouTube. Like us on YouTube. Yes, yeah. thumb up. Yeah. Thumb down. You, you, you can leave uh, comments on YouTube. Leave comments on iTunes. Uh, we're available at techpopboom.com. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your dad. Tell your dog. Uh, and you know, cat. stick around if you we like us. Let us know. So. Cat, we don't discriminate either. So cats. No. <laughs> no. 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 So, yep. All so, right. I will, yep. We will see you the next time, people. All right, Brandon. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Okay. Peace, everyone.